What are the forces that affect soils? The downward or vertical stress is created by the weight of the soil. The horizontal support is provided by the surrounding soil. If the stresses are equal, the soil is stable. Once a cut is made, the stresses become unequal, and the rate of collapse depends on the soil strength and on one or more of the causes of soil instability. There are six main causes of soil instability. An increase in the depth of the cut. Saturation, or increase in the water content of the soil. Hydrostatic, or water pressure in ground cracks near the walls of the excavation. The weight of the excavated material and the equipment adjacent to the excavation. Shock and vibration from machinery, traffic, or blasting. And frost action. When collapse occurs, the fracture point will usually occur at a point back from the face, which is equal to one half to three quarters of the depth of the excavation. The key to stable faces is to ensure that the stresses imposed are weaker than the soil strength. This is not something that can be simply left to one's judgment because there are too many factors involved. Most problems with excavations result from one or a combination of the following reasons. Inadequate sloping or shoring. Lack of shoring knowledge. Poor maintenance of shoring. Defective shoring materials. Excavated material too close to the edge. Undercutting of trench walls. Unexpected or transient loads. Vibration and water. 